Because work on a lawn business report can be spread over many weeks, you need to see it not as a series of static or isolated tasks, but as an evolving project. Let's take a look at the process of writing a lawn business report. The following guidelines will help you plan and write a lawn report. Identify a significant topic. While you won't usually get to choose the topic of a lawn report, when you write one for class, make sure to select a topic that is important and worth exploring in detail. Choose a topic or a problem that is relevant for your audience, whether it is a group of college administrators or community leaders, or something that will help them better understand or even solve a problem. Conduct research. You'll have to do some preliminary research to get an overview of the key ideas and individuals involved and the implications for your company or community. Expect to confer regularly with your supervisor and team members. In these meetings, be prepared to ask pertinent and researched questions to pin down exactly what your boss wants and how your writing and your team can accomplish the goal. Your supervisor may want you to submit an outline before you draft the report and may expect several more drafts for approval before you write the final version. Revise your work often. Be prepared to work on several outlines and drafts. Your revisions may sometimes be extensive depending on what your boss or collaborative team recommends or what your research uncovers. You may have to consult new sources or delete older ones. Keep the order of your report flexible at first. A lawn report is not written in final order. Abstract to recommendations. Instead, expect to write in loose order to reflect the process whereby you've gathered information and organized it into categories. Usually, the body of the report is written before the introduction so authors can make sure they've not left anything out. Recommendations can be made only after you prepare the conclusion, and abstracts are always written last. Prepare both a day-to-day -day calendar and checklist. Keep both posted where you do your work, above your desk or computer, or use your operating system's calendar program so that you can track your progress. The calendar should mark milestones, that is, dates by which each stage of your work must be completed. Business reports serve as the foundation for great business decisions.